Okay, here we go. Going in now to see the Vision Pro. No photos, no video? No. So I have good news and bad news. The good news, I did get to try out Apple's new mixed reality headset. Bad news, Apple wouldn't let us film me wearing it. Thus, we're here. They did let us film the headset on a table. Roll that footage. But yes, I did get to spend 30 minutes wearing the headset, which is really focused on bringing digital objects into your real world. Roll footage from the keynote. Games on a giant screen surrounded by spatial audio. And connect with people as if you're sharing the same space. I got to see a few of those demos in the headset, which is by far the best AR VR headset I've ever used. But it's still a headset. Let me take you through it from here. Let's start with what it's like to wear this thing. Honestly, it felt like Apple stuck a giant Apple Watch to my head, in a good way. The sock-like headband was easy to put on and adjust the size with the knob. Oh look, Tim Cook showed up, not wearing the headset. For the first 15 minutes of the demo, I couldn't believe how comfortable it was. Far cozier than the Meta Quest Pro or the Quest 2. A lot of that is because the battery lives in a pack that's attached to the headset. Behold, battery pack footage. Honestly, the battery, which is said to last only two hours, was pretty light and easy to fit in my back pocket. But it's still a lot of tech on your face. By the end of the demo, the top of my nose and forehead started to feel the weight. Here's a photo of me when I took it off. I guess this is why so much of the footage from Apple is of people, alone, in their homes. With a spatial cinema that transforms any space, like this apartment, you have a gorgeous screen you can adjust to the perfect size. Apple says that discomfort was because it only had limited sized light seals, which fit the headset to your face. There will be more options when the device is available early next year. Okay, so what's it like to look through this thing? Pretty insane, especially compared to other headsets out there. Apple is really focusing on blending the digital world with your real world. And you can really toggle between a VR-like experience where you're in a virtual world and an AR-like experience where digital objects show up in your real world. Spin the digital crown one way and you'll see more of the real world. Spin it the other and you see less. Press on the button and you get taken to the home screen. And it, again, really works like that. Even better, looking at the real world looks crisp and clear, unlike the MetaQuest Pro, where things can look grainy. But going back and forth between AR and VR did make me feel a little bit queasy by the end of the demo. It wasn't like a puke situation, but you know, just meh. Unlike other VR headsets, there are no controllers. So your eyes are your cursor and your fingers are like the mouse buttons. To select things, you just pinch like this. And then to scroll, you move it in different directions. And yes, one of the craziest things is the front screen, where people who look at you can see your eyes. No, I didn't test this, but look at what we made in Photoshop. Okay, so what do you do with it? During the demo, I was able to scatter a few apps in space. So instead of having multiple monitors, you could just look at these virtual screens around your room. I was also able to have a FaceTime chat with an Apple employee, except it wasn't a video of her, it was a 3D hologram of her. During the call, she was able to launch a presentation for us to work together on. And the coolest thing was probably the 3D spatial photos and videos. A dedicated button on the top left of the headset will allow wearers to snap these photos, though I couldn't try it myself. And I watched a 3D movie clip and was very into it. Do we need more things to do with the Vision Pro, especially to justify its $3,500 price tag? Absolutely. But that's why Apple's getting it out now to developers, so they can dream up new experiences. Are we all going to buy this when it comes out next year? Nope. But this vision of spatial computing, as Apple calls it, and seeing the digital in our real world really does feel like the next big thing even if it does seem at its present moment a bit dystopian and isolating. And I do look forward to trying the Vision Pro again and filming what's actually happening instead of more of this.